Welcome back to another day of cash and props with your boy Kirk for Sunday, May 26th. We have game three of the Wolves versus the Mavs as the Mavs stole the first two games on the road in Minnesota. And this was a very disappointing display from Minnesota. Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving have shown they're the best two players in this series. I thought Anthony Edwards was going to respond in game two. Wasn't. He didn't show up. Naz Reed almost bailed them out, but he didn't. Luka at the game winner on a switch that brought Gobert onto Luka, and Luka hit a step back three with about four seconds left. I was surprised they switched here, but, I mean, Dallas up 2-0. They looked to go up 3-0, which a team has never come back from. So it'll be interesting, but make sure to like and subscribe to Pick Dogs YouTube, you know where my best bets are, Pick Dogs Premium. I got the Celtics hat, the Red Sox shirt. I'm going in the Sox today, so I got to play in that. And, yeah, I mean, I got MLB going, NBA going, soccer going. There's something for everyone. Hop on a three-day pass. Get all the plays you can. Let's go into the summer with some money, and let's just keep rolling. Let's get into it. First, I got Daniel Gafford as my player prop. Over 7.5 points at minus 138. This is pretty simple here. He's gone over this in 10 of his last 10 games. In this series, he scored 10 points and 16 points. He doesn't really miss shots. A lot of his shots are very simple layups or putback dunks or alley-oops. So, I mean, come on. Gafford, with the way that Luka has been able to have the paint collapse on him, just throws it up to Gafford, throws it up to Lively. Both these player props are good. I'm just going with Gafford here because his is a point less. And eight and a half and seven and a half, you wouldn't think it's a big difference, but it really is because these guys really only shoot two pointers. So to get four baskets here, I really like Gafford and 100% hit rate over his last 10. So let's lock this in. Minus 138, not great value, but a great play itself. Second, I'm going to go with a triple double for Luka Doncic here, plus 370. He has five triple doubles in the playoffs this year, as many as all other players combined. And especially in his last four games, he's just been back to the old Luka think he was having a little trouble with Lou Dort on him in the Thunder series, but this matchup against the Wolves has been proving to be a way simpler matchup for him, and he's getting everywhere he wants, collapsing the defense, lobbing it up to his guys. I mean, he's had triple-double in both games in this series, three of his last four games, and the value there at plus 370, it's hard to pass up on. Give me Luka triple-double, and, I mean, he's balling right now. It looks like the best remaining player – in the playoffs right now. I mean, Tatum still waiting for him to wake up. Halliburton's hurt and Edwards. I mean, he's got to wake up. So Luca triple double next. Instead of my parlay, I just, I just had to give you guys this play. I mean, I felt bad if I didn't give it to you at plus 700 um, odds I'm going with Derek lively to lead the game in rebounds. This is also dead heat. So if he were to tie with someone else, this would go down to plus 350, which is still pretty good odds for a guy that's been playing really, really well for them. He has at least 10 rebounds in three of his last four games. He had 15 in one of those games, 11 in another. I know there's some other guys here that I'm worried about. Rudy Gobert, obviously, is the favorite at plus 105, but he hasn't gone over 10 rebounds in his last three games. And just with him being on Luca and outside more, I could I don't see him getting as many rebounds here. And he hasn't been getting in the first two games. Also, you can think Doncic, who has a triple double, but his odds aren't that great. If you want value and at plus seven hundred, if he were to just lead the game once in this series in rebounds, you would make back your money. This seems like a great spot for Lively, who with Gafford, he can get in foul trouble pretty easily. And yeah, Lively's been the better rebounder than Gafford, has the better numbers rebounding. So, Lively it is. Plus 700, lead the game in rebounds, dead heat, Derek Lively. That concludes it. Short show, short show today. But, you know, lock in with me on the premium. I got a ton over there. Baseball props will be starting very soon. And, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out Sports Chat Place and Pick Dogs Premium. 
free betting tools and let's have a good day big weekend memorial day weekend hop on that three-day pass i'm telling you this is a big weekend for the boy let's go